This is going to be a tutorial on how to set up simple sliding doors with Kogito. If you don't know, Kogito is my first person immersive sim template for Godot Engine 4. It's currently still in development, so um, there's still features that are actively being worked on and there's still some bugs. But the principle on how to create interactive objects like doors, it's not going to change. So I thought it's a good time to show you all how I'm going to how I create doors. Uh, most assets come as GLB files and they, when you drag them into the scene, they are in this, in their own sub scene. And for our purposes, we don't want that. So the first thing I usually do is I right click on it and go make local. This will like um, split the scene up into its parts. In this case, there's a sub node and the mesh itself. I only need the mesh, so I'm gonna drag this up and get rid of this other node. Um, once that is done, I can move on into using its parent node, which is actually quite useful um, because I need a parent node for my animatable body. Usually for doors, I use animatable bodies because they behave mostly like I want them to behave. So I right click, go change type, and put an animatable body. Once that is done, you see that we have this little triangle that warns us that we don't have a collision body. So we're gonna do that next. Add child node, collision shape 3D. Gonna add a box shape. And then I'm gonna quickly um, make that match my door. I think it's about this size. There we go. Once we have this set up, um, I'm ready to turn this into a Kogito object, in this case, a Kogito door. Kogito itself comes with a bunch of included objects to create the most common types of interactive objects that you see in, in games. Um, so I'm gonna just do a quick load, type in Kogito door, press enter, and there you go. And you can see that it now has Kokido door script attached. And then I can set up um, the behavior that I want. I'm gonna go into parameters first. Gonna go between parameters. I don't want this to be locked or anything, so I'm ignoring all of this. Um, I check is sliding, because I want this to be a sliding door, which means I can ignore all of these. And then I just look at my positions here. Um, one thing to keep in mind for positions is that they're all local. What this means is um, if I go to my transform and I change the C position here, you see this slides back and forth just how I would want it. But if you have your door rotated like this and you change C, it's gonna start sliding like this, which is what we don't want. So in order to avoid this, what I usually do is I reparent this whole Kogito door object to another node. That way its transform is always local. Um, so I'm gonna do this now real quick. Just right click and go to reparent to new node. And this can just be a node 3D. And then we're good to go. I'm gonna call this sliding door. There we go. Um, one thing to keep in mind, of course, is that the new node, its transform here is an origin. So in order to make sure it's where I actually want it, I click to my door, just copy its properties, go to this one, go paste properties. And as you can see, my door is now somewhere else. And to fix that, I just click back on this and reset. And there we go. Now we have it exactly how we want it. All right, um, back to our door parameters. The closed position is gonna be 000, which is where it is right now. So that's great. And then I want to open it this way. So I'm just gonna move it how far I want it to go. This looks pretty good. So it's minus 144. I'm gonna just copy this into the open position and that's it. Now, one more thing to keep in mind is that the Kogito door um, object also 
comes with audio and because of that it needs an audio stream player um, i'm gonna add that as a chat note real quick audio stream player 3d you don't have to do anything else um, you might want to assign it to be at the right bus and stuff but i'm gonna make it quieter as well but now this works and of course we want to assign some sounds so i'm gonna just go here quick load and i have a sliding door sound that i'm gonna use the number one for open sliding door number two to close right now this door is a kogito object but in order for the player to be able to interact it with it needs to have interactions attached as components most objects are set up to just recognize those interactions automatically and make them work as you want. And so for this door, we just want to open and close interaction. So I'm just going to instantiate a child scene and go basic interaction. That's the interaction I want. This kind of interaction um, also defines what input meta option is going to be used to open a door. Um, per default, it's just interact with this, which is, I think, per default bound to the F key. Um, and that's good enough for me, that works. And then the last thing is I need to make sure the collision layer is correctly set. And the collision layer for all interactions is layer 2. So I'm just going to add this here. And I'm good to go. Alright, see the store. To interact with it it opens and closes it's pretty fast right now but in overall it works <laughs>